Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a review, another cosplay review. So I bought this Demon Slayer Inosuke head. Um, he's a character from Demon Slayer. He basically kills demons. I haven't seen the show yet, but I do. I'm like a fan of like the aesthetics of newer animes. So um, this was something that I really wanted. Um, it's kind of weird though, cause he wears a dead boar head on his head, and it's like a boar, like a wild pig, but for some reason I think it's super cute, cause the way they animate it is really cute. But anyways, so this is from Cosplay FTW. I always order from them. I'll probably leave the link in the description box below if you want to check their site out or buy this. However, it is super expensive. I kind of, like, it's a balance between, like, what's worth it and what's not worth it. But for me, I was like, it's a one-time deal thing for, like, such an expensive thing. Like... I know, like, for example, I didn't buy their Bakugo cosplay because it was around $400, but then I bought this, and this costs about the same, but it's just a mask, it's not a full costume, so really expensive, but to me it was worth it because I can't make things like this, but if you can make things and sew things, I would definitely say if you can do crafting like this, it would be much cheaper if you do it yourself. I just purchased it because why not? So <clears throat> it was on sale because it was 15% off or something, but it's $294.24 USD. The original price is around $400 for USD. For Canadian, the $294 turned into 400 bucks for me, so it was super expensive you can tell if you live in canada you'll know like the exchange rate really gets you <laughs> because the u.s currency is better than the canadian currency so kind of sucks i have inosuke here my body pillow of him but i have yet to do a video of some of the body pillows that i bought because i bought new ones um but I have done my My Hero Academia ones so far for reviews, but that's it. So that's basically it. There's no size thing. It's just straight up a mask and you just order it and it's all. So it, I'm going to show this first because they came with this cute little new... Um, Kupasket figure and because I think it's because I bought it when it was on sale So they decided to throw this in as a free gift for me because I did not order this at all It's super tiny. Um, if you want to see like a detailed review where I'm not holding it like this, but it's actually like on The floor and I review it. You can check out my um figures review. Oh no, his arm fell off I did not put that in well But yeah, I did a figure review of this, even though I consider these statues because figures kind of have more mobility and they can move and pose. As for this, there's no, no posability except for his pose that he's in. So yeah, but it's a cute little statue. I thought I'd show it anyways just to say that I got this for free, so... Thank you for them for giving this to me, and by no means am I sponsored by anyone because I just buy a lot of stuff from them, but to be honest, my cha my channel is tiny, so I don't expect people. Now mine kind of came a little bit crooked, part of his nose, because he was like, I think, flattened on one part, so he was just yeah so here it is super fuzzy this is all fake fur not real fur no one freak out <laughs> um but yeah so i'm gonna start off with his nose it's hard to see but there's like holes here so you can breathe um 
in their picture they do show it like have like smoke effect coming out of it so i think if you added like a machine that can like put smoke out it would look cool to make him look angry but basically this is breathing this is good for breathing i guess and then i like how they spray painted it i think it's spray paint but it kind of looks fuzzy around the edges it doesn't look like super crisp so it kind of looks more realistic this is really hard i think it's plastic and then his tusks are made out of this hard thing too, but their paint is more matted for this. Like, this is glossy. Um, I don't think you can tell on camera, but this is like more just matted regular paint while like acrylic paint or something, while this is more, you know, smooth, nice. Maybe it's spray paint because it feels, it looks so smooth. Yeah. His eyes look like this, so it's just a, uh, I don't know if this is made of resin or something, but it looks super nice. This, and then, um, this part is actually, like, a clear see-through plastic, so when you wear the mask, this is where you're seeing through this part of the eye, but, um, in the show, this part does look black. But it's so dark inside the mask, you can't see anything. Like, if I put it on, you can't see, like, my eyes or anything. So it's pretty good. It keeps the effect nice. Like, the illusion that there's no head in there, but there is. <laughs> and then there's, a, this part is, like, felt. Like, this part's felt. So yeah, they're both of the size of the eyes are made differently. Now these are kind of like glued on. This part is kind of coming off. I don't know if you can see that. But it's okay. I can just glue it on. I'll probably glue it more to secure it. I like the fake fur. They painted the little pink parts of his ear too. It's super cute. This is very um furry though. Like big fur and it sheds a lot so I would say if you ever have a pet you might know what that's like um I know what that's like because my uh, cousin she has like she had three dogs and uh, now she only has two but they like shed a lot so this sometimes sheds so just saying if you wear this you'll get fur everywhere <laughs> but it's not like coming off like in big clumps it's just like a tiny bit so this is the back part and split like this i don't know if i can show you guys how well i can show you guys but it's basically looks like a black hole but it's basically um foam in here you probably can't see well but there's foam in there and it's basically just glued in this intricate pattern that they did, so that way it fits the head. And I think it's EVA foam, because it feels a bit flexible, and especially because this part kind of bent when it was shipping, well, they kind of when it was shipping, so I feel like it's EVA foam. And then you see, to make it more realistic, they let this part kind of drag, so that way it covers your neck when you're wearing it. So, very show accurate. <laughs> okay, I will wear it, but I'm gonna not speak with it. I'll probably take it off to talk because it'll probably, I don't know if it will mute my voice. <clears throat> Sometimes, because my hair is growing longer, it's in this weird stage where it's like, my hair is longer, so I need to brush it to the side if I put stuff on my face. But the issue is, like, I put it, like, there, and then it was like, if I don't brush it to the side, it actually covers my vision a lot of the times when I put this mask on. But at the same time, I kind of wish I had longer hair because you can tie it more. So this is, like, an awkward hair length right now. So this is what it looks like. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can hear me. Like I'm trying to speak, but I'll see in the recording if you guys can hear me. It's super cute. 
Um, I do have to look like more sideways. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but basically I do have to look more like sideways because the peripheral vision is... The fur goes in your mouth too, just be careful with that. Sometimes I'm like, maybe I should wear like those uh, non-medical surgical masks that we use because... I use them at work because COVID, but I was thinking maybe I should wear those in here so that way it doesn't go in my mouth. But basically, I have to look like more sideways because the peripheral vision is kind of gone. So like here in the mask, because the nose part, it's blocking and then over here it's blocking. So you really have to like look around more. I would say if you go to a convention with this, you might want to go with like a buddy and don't and don't do a system where you go alone because you might not be able to see well and you might bump into things. <laughs> so like anything here or like here might be like your vision is going to be kind of obstructed, like you can't see properly. So yeah, you kind of have to turn around and everything. I'm still waiting for my, um, I just ordered last week a cosplay from Cosplay Shopper, which is a different website, but basically they sell like, um, I noticed they had more variety in terms of they sell like female versions of male characters. For example, in My Hero, My Hero Academia, there's Shoto, Bakugo, and Deku. They sell made outfit versions of those characters. So it's super cute and nice. So for Inosuke, there was two um, kimonos, and they were female kimonos. So I thought it would be funny to buy this and wear it with a kimono, because I always kind of wanted a kimono, but I never got one, but, you know, this is a good excuse for that. <laughs> but he's super fluffy, super cute, he's super nice. I don't know, it's kind of weird because at the same time I'm thinking this is a boar head, so it is super fluffy. Was it worth it? To me it was, but... To most of you, probably not because that's expensive because it was like 400 bucks Canadian. But I would say if you buy it, if you have the money to buy it, it's a good one because there's a lot of them online that are like latex rubber. And I heard those smell really bad because of the rubber. And um, I have a sensitive nose, so I can't wear anything latex like that on my head. Because I'm going to smell rubber for like, it's going to bother me. So anything really chemically bothers me. So yeah, so I would say those still look cute. It, they're just not as accurate, I would think. But if you can make your own, by all means, make your own. Because that would be way cheaper. Because I'm pretty sure you can get like EVA foam and this cheaper and somehow make the eyes. I mean, you can make the eyes out of foam or something and paint it, but yeah. I just think this is super cute. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was like a small review of this. I will do a review of him soon, so <laughs> don't worry. Like, <clears throat> I have a small cough because it's turning cold and I keep talking at work, so the cough isn't really good. But anyways... I will be doing a review of my newer pillows soon. I'm just waiting on one more to come to my home. It's delayed. Hopefully it comes soon. I've been waiting for almost a month. And uh, the post office is delayed. It wasn't like the making process of the pillow that was delayed. So in hopes that it comes soon. So that way I can do like a review of all of my pillows. I'm probably not going to do a review of them all together, but I will show all my pillows that I collected. <laughs> so yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to see where to buy this or you can browse around their website too. They have a bunch of cool stuff. I would say they're kind of limited on the cosplays and merchandises that they sell because they're a smaller company. However, they do have like 
good variety in terms of like I've seen cosplay sites only sell cosplay and merchandise sites only sell merchandise while they try to cater towards merchandise and cosplay at the same time so it's a good balance so yeah but they have great design stuff like these pillows behind me because I have so many pillows. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be posting a pictures of this as well in my um, social media down below. And yeah. And you can check out my other cosplay reviews too on my cosplays playlist. So yeah. That's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.